Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mathematics Enjoyer, and right now we're reading about a structural change in Ust-Sislovsk legislature chambers. Shaverovich stood upon the podium addressing the newly elected deputies from that gathered before him, fresh face and enthusiastic. Faces of a new reborn Russia, gentlemen, he said, silencing the chatter, and they may have your attention. All eyes soon became focused on him. Today we gather here in celebration of our democratic ideas against the nations that conspire to divide us Russians from solidarity to one another. Great were their efforts, but today we have broken their hold on us. We, the great Russian nation, have broken the shackles placed upon us by the time of our ancestors, fulfilling our destiny. Shaverovich cleared his voice. I admit that it is rather queer for a mathematician to speak of destinies. Romantic notions are not part and parcel of my work. Those kinds of thinking I will leave to others. For much of my career, I've been a theoretician, a scientist. Today, I stand before you an architect and also an engineer. You, the deputies of this renewed legislature, are my partners in our work. Russia has chosen you. Each of the deputies in this chamber of Russia has elected to serve in this post. Do not fail the nation's trust in us, that is all. Shaverovich stepped down, and a chorus of ovation met his wake. A new Russian democracy is here, and we're doing a generation of thinkers. Um, I've already gotten him fish all this stuff, stuff off as well, just because we can. And it looks like someone can't give us a rubber. A couple comments include, um, someone wants me to play a few more left wings uh, leaders in TNO. And yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, I totally do. Um, we will, eventually. Like, my goal is to pretty much play at least every single uh, nation in TNO, maybe. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens eventually. That'd be good. Actually, did we just cheer these guys? Let's go to Brazil. Let's all go to Brazil, everyone. So yeah, we'll play more left-wing uh, leaders in the future. Trust me, we totally will, especially for the coming Republic. Um, the reason why I focus a little bit more on the right, just because I initially started off as them, and, uh, well, it's easier to just do it when from one game save, like, you know, right before you cho choose who's going to lead, so. And I already had it open, so. I basically had it available, and I thought, I thought you know what, why not? Cool. A generation of thinkers. Russia is a fuel. The fuel was watered infrequently, and occasionally part of it burned down to the behest of others, but the result is a stronger, more beautiful harvest. This is also true for Russia's vast landscape of intellectual talent. For every difficulty that the peasantry has faced, they have overcome with flying colors. This, then, is our goal. To find the strongest and best flowers in a garden, nurture them into brilliant life, and set them loose to transform the world around them. We will overhaul our recruitment structure in both party and government, setting the absolute highest standards of education and training. And when we are done, our nation will be led by the cream of the Russian crop. The beautiful, the brave, the sensitive, and strong. They say that the Superman will emerge from Berlin, but a rebuttal will be crafted here in Russia. Election Security Act. There's something to be said about our dedication to rural democracy. There's also something to be said about the vulnerability of said democracy to be infiltrated by unsavory elements. Words, however, are easy. We must set our minds to action and preserve the voice of the Rodina in its most honest and direct form, rooting out every stray voice that does not truly have the motherland hot. The Security Act being drafted will go a long way towards our goals in both directions. <clears throat> Formal agencies will be directed to reorganize their election structure from the bottom up, accountable to the highest legislative bodies in the land, and for those who are deemed suspicious in the background. Well, democracy is a vital and fragile instrument, yes. We cannot afford to take chances. Absolutely not. So we're doing all this stuff in 1970. Extraction right now is kind of okay. Oh, I forgot to get about research speed. Oh, that's not ideal. A generation of thinkers. Look at that one, too. Which is fine. At this point in the campaign, every time we come to this part of the campaign, there's really not much you can do with the PP. Maybe except for, like, you know, the nuclear stuff, but... Sometimes you might have too much, but sometimes you don't. The most loyal opposition? Return of the soil? Oh, actually, no, we want to do this one first. I should have asked you guys whether we should do Bond the Countryside versus Farewell to Arcadia. But realistically, this one improves expertise. This one improves agriculture very rapidly at the cost of expertise. I'd like to go that way, but realistically, we already have modern agriculture, so boosting this up anymore would literally give us nothing, so that really sucks. So if you want to read about Bond the Countryside, I'd love to do this one, and I want to do this one. But overall, I think we should do this one, because I like the civvy, but farewell to Arcadia. We do not make this decision lightly, but it is with the bitterest of regrets, but for the Rodina to rebuild, some compromises must be made. No matter the cost, just as trees survive better with the cutting of branches when the forest fires come, so too shall Russia's industrial abominations, expansive though they might be, save us from the infernal of war. We will invest in industrial and heavy mining concerns in areas that are sparsely populated, boosting our private industry at the cost of some of our cultural purity. It might be a betrayal of our values, it might even be considered oppressive, with our diplomatic threats coming closer every day, however. This investment will come in handy sooner or later. We would prefer to wield it in our own volition, rather than have it foisted upon us, which, actually we get a milli I didn't realize that. In the hall, let's do this one first. Yes, please. Aaron Feigenbaum glanced at the clock as he sat in the reception hall of the Voter Registration Bureau. It had been over an hour since he was first told to wait to apply for a form, and everyone else in the room had 
at the time had already gone. He was wondering if he should just wait to apply it for another day when the woman at the reception desk called out his name. Mr. Feigenbaum, you need to go to office B35 on the second floor, she said as he went to her. To get the form? Correct, sir. Then you have to submit it to Office E22 and apply for a copy of the form to be sent to the Bureau Registrar at Office A05 before sending it off to Office A18. Understand? Feigenbaum committed to the instructions for navigating the bureaucratic labyrinth. Memory nodded. After what felt like half an hour trying to navigate the identical-looking office halls to find Office B35, Feigenbaum sat down at the office reception. He didn't even bother to keep track of the time after that when another receptionist called his name. He asked for his form when she shook her head. I'm sorry, the receptionist downstairs made a mistake. You need a copy of Form 2834R before I can give you the voter registration form. You can get it at Office E48. Three floors up and down to the right. I'm sorry if it sounds complex, but... Due to incidents of past voter fraud, we need to keep thorough records of every potential voter. Feigenbaum's mouth dropped as he exited the room, failing to notice what Office E48 was labeled on the building map that he stomped past in frustration. Small National Voter Pre-Registration Application. Russia's beating hot, so we can get some more agriculture, even though we don't really need that. At it... As it the firms, the rush, the farmers and the factories of the motherland grow into each other, the nation comes closer to the platonic ideal of a united series of tissues. Yes, Russia is one massive, gigantic organ of life in common purpose, and what a glorious ship purpose it is. We must not rest easy, however. The people must always be guarded from their worst impulses, not to mention those germs who would wish to defy what we have built here and turn it to their own ends. Continuing incremental adjustments to the system, developing new methods to manage Russian realities, and building a strong culture of self-reliance amongst our own peasantry will ensure that this self-sustaining system continues to grow and self-correct. Many, may all of Russia embrace this organic life, and may sustain it and may it sustain a vital nation far into the future. There is another comment, though, that I do want to address. That's, for now, we're just going to keep boosting up, because we need more We need more output, if you look at this stuff. We need more tanks, we need more artillery, we need more planes, we need more support equipment. We really do need more planes, holy crap. But, uh, someone says, I should play as Herman Goring, with the Herman Goring mod, you know, Goring's Wild Ride, and do it on hard AI. I'm like, mm, I don't know about hard AI, I haven't done it once. I mean, at least let me first, let me do it one time, normally. And maybe someday I'll do it on hard, but yeah, Goring's Wild Ride, I, I have it actually on the list. It's very high on the list. Very high on the list, actually, so. Yay. Um, the campaign... Oh, oh yeah, that's that one. The counter-russophobic campaign. In recent days, some have spoken of those with a sinister vision for Russia. They speak of the demon of multiculturalism, where tolerance of those different from us is an interchangeable from the blending of pure Russian culture with incompatible alien substances. It is utter nonsense to believe such things, of course, but the nonsense is potent nonetheless. If we were to combat the stupidity, we must start from the ground of Russian society, the peasantry. In truth, many Russian realities have an unrealized, nebulous notion of what it means to be Russian. By affirming their God-given sense of what is Russian and what is from the devil, we will reinforce the notion that at a half-hearted embrace of minority culture, the loss of the heritage of earth and blood as rosophobic in its most demonic form. And when we set these people loose upon the cities, we hope that the ivory tower elites who speak about their station will learn that lesson too. Very nice. <clears throat> Prepare for the unification. Well... I guess technically, I, oh, well, ooh, actually, can we, can we have done it peacefully? Um, I want to say maybe, actually, even though we're pretty darn fascist here. Um, honestly, I don't think these guys are going to be that difficult, like, just realistically speaking. I don't want to kill off any more, we, I really don't want to kill off any more manpower, but they've got their 44 divisions, they literally have no manpower, and they've got a good amount of equipment, we'll say, a good amount, but I just don't think that they can do too much. My bad. I should have waited to see if we could peacefully reunite, but they're still fighting, or they still don't have this group, so these guys actually have some manpower, but they have like two divisions, so. Uh, and besides, I do want to do this one, just because I do want to get more manpower, and forts, and factories, because we all need that stuff, so. On the road. The inhabitants of the village of Yuxeviel, oh, Yuxei Evo gathered at the church to see a man giving a speech. However, the man, whose name was Boris Yuk, not a priest giving a sermon, but a member of the Russian National Party, the ruling party of the new democratic regime, that did not make what he was speaking about no less interesting than the Bible. Over the course of a few hours, he talked about how the passionary believed in traditional Russian values of God, the church, and the family, which made many of the villagers nod their heads or murmur amongst themselves in agreement. After giving a speech, Boris Yuk took a brief break to answer questions. Sir, a man said in the back, you say the cool, closest polling station is the district capital. That's a five-hour walk on a good day. Is there any way we can get there any faster? An excellent question, Boris Yok. 
I replied. In fact, the RNP will offer free public transportation to polling stations for everyone who supports the party. Transport by bus to the district capital will take less than an hour. The villagers mumbled, mumbled among themselves. Free transportation for the RNP voters. It was a long time since any form of organized public transport came to see came to these parts of Russia. Even cars were hard to come by except for the well-to-do these days. The entire church burst into applause and cheers over the promise, as each village made their own plans to vote for the RMP in the coming election. Small national voter pre-registration application. And also, uh, before we do that one, I don't want to click on this one too. Thank you. Go again. The politically conscious army. Glory is in the Russian blood. Our people were made for greatness, and the army is a distillation of the finest traditions of our people. Honor, courage, integrity, patriotism. These values thrive everywhere, but they blossom into view only in the men who have selflessly volunteered for the greatest of all possible lives. What better way to ensure the spirit of our national revival never dies out than to build it into the army? Regular political re-education lessons, the stacking of leadership positions with firm loyalists dedicated to passionary ideals, and an emphasis on rural strength will keep the army forever loyal to our ideals and our vision for the nation. Quiet amendments to the Constitution will also ensure that uh, should our leadership ever come into question, the soldiers know exactly where their interests will lie. <gasps> Ooh, tanks, yeah, small tanks, yes, and these guys are actually 40 combat with, look at that, thick boys, even though some of these guys are not looking too good right yet, but that's okay, that's okay, in time they will be very nice and thick, just the way we like them. And double check this. That one's in here too. Nice. Anything here? 22 billion. Not bad. We're still building up quite a few civvies. We've got a lot of infrastructure as well to do. Um, but we have a lot more civvies to do as well. So go, 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 go. This feels weird. Like, this is a campaign where we have not finished building all the civvies in the lands yet. I mean, obviously, we took out Kazakhstan and still, but like. This is, this is also another a rare ca Russian campaign where our GDP growth is higher than our national debt. Or is higher than our debt interest. So. <clears throat> Usually. I don't get, we don't get that down that far, but from sea to shining sea, this then is a dream, nothing more, nothing less than bringing to wholeness of holy Russia, or the, bring, the bringing of holiness to Russia. Even as the whole union fell, even as the barbarites consumed so much of Russian life and culture, we held under this dream, the time has come when we shall bring it into being. So with our army ready to roll, the false culturny ideals that pollute Russia all the way back to Germania, let us be fearless. There's a home for us, a place where the people most precious of God shall ever rest. That place is the heart of the Father and Hegemon, and the Holy Mother Rus on Earth. Yes. Hey, looking not too bad now. Artillery's looking a lot better. Tanks are looking not great because we just deployed some, so... Yeah, our tanks are going to get hit really hard when we go to war. Um, let's see that one, too. More, uh, love, give us those men. Give us those men. When in doubt, we want more men in our lives. Um, the most loyal opposition, of course. The Russian spirits are now for its boundless enthusiasm and for this abs absolute integrity. Long have these impulses served us, and long have they sown fertile rewards in artistic and scientific innovation, where there are instances in which one clashes with the other. So too for our opposition, noble in their enthusiasm, but with their integrity tilted askew. It falls to us to ensure that they are curbed in the worst of their excesses, so that we have a firm and unquestioned hand in guiding this country to the common good. We will, through quiet words and unquiet actions, move our opposition into positions of ceremonial power and no real value, while we place pressure upon their leadership to follow the will of the Russian state, its voice being, of course, Shevarevich. The opposition may not always agree with us, but our general, gentle directions, we will ensure that they will follow our lead, even in willfulness. Nice. Conservative democracy? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Beat the living crap out of them with more Artie. Artie's going to be the savior of our, uh, one of the saviors of our war against the Germans. As much already as possible. And we need to keep start keeping some PP so when we core everything here, we'll get some more stuff, so that's good. And actually, I might just launch the attack into them. We have a we have a pretty big army. I'll be honest, this is pretty big. I don't think it'll be able to stop us, but it'll return to the soil. So much has been made of our dedication to rural democracies. Perhaps we have forgotten that the farmer thinks of voting only as an afterthought. As life is dominated by simpler, rougher, and better things, the harvest, the village, and the family. As we polish our democratic processes, cast out the problematic elements haunting us, and opening the ballot boxes. Let us celebrate as if there were neither peasant nor working men, only Russians. The Russian spirit will be fostered as we turn electoral cycles into literal cycles of life, akin to harvest and rural cultural dancing. Movie, screenings, and outright celebrations of life will follow each ballot, and our churches will fill with joy as priests speak of the noble perfection of the Russian life. It will be a life of beauty and of honest work. All of Russia will share in its joy. More fascism, more stability, re segregated regiments, get more non core manpower, more division organization, less population factor, which I don't like, but better recovery rate, which is, yeah. It's a trade-off. It's definitely a trade-off. Engineers are super important, too. Alright, and... Yes, tough. Actually doing this right now. Help us uproot any entrenchment they have, or at least a good chunk of their entrenchment, so... There you go. That looks kind of messed up, so whatever. Cool. 
and the Russian idea. Again and again, because civilization has risen, again and again has collapsed, again and again, Russia has taken its remnants into, into our loving arms. When orthodoxy burned with Constantinople, we took the mantle of the new Rome without question. When the liberalists burnt Europe, Europe half to the ground, we in Russia took the mantle of tradition. Now that the Germanic savages hold Russian soil and people hostage, we shall again assume the mantle of those who know that they are the last redoubt, for that is what we are. But let us never cower before the enemy. Our long march to the Baltics, the Urals, has brought with it the Russian idea, the vitality, the beauty, and the wild strength of Russian life. Everywhere our boots have landed, again I tell you, as long as we hold the Rodina within our hearts, in our minds and with every house, Russia can never fall. We are unconquered, unconquerable, and in the long war of savagery, there has been one certain truth. We have won every single time, and we will win this time too. Absolutely. 100%. Sweet peace words? Yes. And how many days do we have for that? Um, I'm not sure, but just stop training. Go when you can. Go when you can. Uh, before we let them rip and just go. When I say rip, I mean just not let, let them just go ahead and just kill our enemies. Um, let's do that. Because not all of our guys here have planes yet, which sucks. Do we have any spirit? Yes, we do have some casts. Oh, that's good. They're not very good. They're early casts. So they'll just get the crap blown out of them when they fight the Germans, but still. Let's go, 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 go. I'm glad we don't have to wait at all. Just because we need the fact we, uh, we need the factories right now. And the faster we get them, the faster we can core them. So... Look at that. Modern research facility is very nice. Uh, is anything else going to get upgraded, perhaps? No, 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 no. I wish poverty would get better, but whatever. Ah, civilian budget boost? No, 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 no. Modern professionalism is on political interference. I guess it was probably on widespread cronyism, so... It's alright. And so we can keep building more factories. So, how many... We've killed off 50,000. We're always taking about 2,000 casualties. Not bad. Ah, the Russian ideal, my friends... 75,000 have been killed for about 5,000 soldiers. That's not bad. And now we're out of focuses. We don't get anything about this? I mean, that's an insignia. I like the insignia. Oh, there goes the, the Shah of Iran. Alright, well, goodbye, Shah. 134, 5,000. They've lost at least 7 divisions so far. They have no manpower still. 33 divisions max. 3 to 5 divisions there. Because, as you... I, I, actually, who? Uh, OFN, INX Pact, I, I hope they lose in Iran. Please let them lose, because this is a big faction, and I always forget that the, the Norwegians are here too, so we'll probably send our tanks up here, maybe? And I'll just, it's just going to be one massive infantry front against the Germans. Can I aid you in any way? No. Darn it. That sucks. Oh, are we losing here? How are we losing? Don't lose, boys and girls. There's no time to lose. There's literally no time to lose. 72. Let's grab some of this up, too. Oh, do we ever put in uh, the anti-air? Anti-tank? Um, it does not look like we did. Oh, maybe I didn't research it yet. Maybe I didn't research it yet. That probably makes sense, then. That's a lot of dead guys. Well, we learned very well from Pavel Bartov in the last episode that, uh, well, don't mess with us. Really, you're losing here? You suck, man. Do you have any other upgrades? Larianov, six attack, not bad. You? You're actually technically field marshal, but you're just acting as a general for now. What is that? Second night of the long knives, one death always away from Utopia to last forever. Also, let's make sure we keep doing this stuff too. Um, Irkutsk. As well as Kansk. Learn, 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 learn. They have no manpower left. Keep killing them. 26,000, that's not too bad. If we literally capitulate them before we hit 150,000 casualties, I'm actually kind of okay with that. Just because that's, that's the amount that we actually got um, in preparation for this. I'm not sure where Russia gets the actual manpower, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. Hey, we actually made another tank division too. Great. Great, great, great. And let's uh, integrate Konsk and advance the development stage, because we can. Um, let's get some more monthly progress. I'm going to save our PP, because we're going to need a lot of political power to core everything first, and then we'll keep doing some of the nuclear stuff. So, uh, where are you guys at? You guys going up there? That's fine. You guys still moving around. 
They have upped it, let us into individuals, which is really nice. That's really, 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 really nice. I'll do it one more time, why not? Screw it. Oh, can you guys actually not win here? That's really sad if you can't. Good, 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 good. Hey, look! Die! For our amusement. Oh, I see you losing there. No, no, no. We're not going to be losers here. More recon, please. Thank you. Good, good, good. So we've lost about 41,000. That's actually really good. And they're about to capitulate. We have our goods, maybe? Is Maga done the capital now? Where's... Oh, wow. Blagoveshensk. Nice. Kill them off, kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. Now let's go do it again. Why not? Good, good. And they're dead. Half a million died there. We're taking 50,000 losses, basically, for about 500,000 casualties. I'd say that's, I was worth it. I was definitely 100% worth it. Gonna just take a little bit more, just a little bit more. And, there you got him. Good job. Look at all the stuff we gotta do. Tom's, yes, just going to core everything. We're actually gonna lose political power because of how much we're trying to core. And, my friends, re you reunify the motherland. See if we can pause the music real quick. Alright. Uh, Igor Shevevich, the president of the Russian Free Republic, has declared victory in their efforts to bring an end to the Russian anarchy and reunite the motherland under a single banner. Cheering crowds and marching soldiers can be seen in every major population center, with every village having drunken militiamen waving the flag of this new union stumbling through its streets. The political future of Russia is now shaped by the ideology of compassion and conservatism, a fusion of radical Russian nationalism and traditionalism that has been condemned by critics of the government for its chauvinistic and crypto-fascist tendencies. One well, thing is for sure, restoration of the Russian state will shake the balance of Eurasia drastically, as the Russian leader took no hesitation to decry the German hegemony in Eastern Europe while also acting judgmental of the United States for leaving Russia at the mercy of Nazi butchers for a dark star. When you stare into the abyss... Cool. So long as the moral tone is preserved, the sun of our glory will not set. There will come no national decay and death. From the ashes, my friends. Thank you for playing, and we're not done yet. We have a beast to butcher. And we're going to get butchered in the process. We're a little bit under a million manpower, which is not great, but whatever. Um, we got to really do this real quick first. And just go straight on in and kill them all off. Um, actually, that's better than I thought. That would be like one infrastructure here. Uh, do that first. Bing, bong, bong. Do these three first. That's fine. Um, keep boosting and spending. We'll take out these guys. I'm going to send you guys over here first. Just get your orders to go over here. It's fine. I'm sending the tanks over here too, because I don't, definitely don't want to forget about this. Alright, my friends. We ain't over. It ain't over yet. It, it is not over yet. I swear to God, man. Get that stuff done. Keep building up them civvies. We're not done yet with them civvies. And we'll build even more civvies. We, got, we have a lot of build. We have a lot of things to do. Alright, and get more planes. Hope we got more factories. Doesn't look like we got that many more, though, unfortunately. 500 factories is not enough. Look at that artillery. We need 2,300. 20, That's so much. Oh, don't tell me that they're going to join. God dang it. Um, we need more anti-tank. Well, I'm not going to cut down infantry equipment because we're going to need that, too. Hey, but having a fourth research slot is super, 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 super nice. Oh, that sucks that they kill each other. Why? Are we ready? Yep, let's go in. Go in and kill them off immediately. I hope we can core these areas too. Nice, good, good, very good. This is all in preparation to kill off the uh, Germans. Those disgusting Germans. It is core nuclear technology. We're literally not getting any political power just because of uh, <laughs> trying to core everything there. Hey, not bad. Did you guys link up yet? You're close. You're super close. Go, go, go. How many? How much longer will these things take to core? Oh, four days. That's pretty good, actually. That's actually very good.
Go right there if you can. I'll uh, get you guys out of here too. That's fine. Um, come up here. Hey, Millie's good. Uh, how many guns do we have? Um, we need way more anti tank. Oh, anti is really bad. 8,500 is really bad. We're not gonna, we're not ready for any conflict against Germany. Oh my goodness, this is so bad. Here, we need a lot. We need a lot. Good go job, guys. Good job. Wow, that's some extreme lag. Wow. Well, maybe not extreme, but it's pretty bad. Alright. So, 72. Some better tanks. <clears throat> oh, well. We gotta get another army. An actual infantry army down here, then. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. Why do they have to kill each other? Allies, why? There we go. Invade the Reich? I'd love to, but we got more stuff to do down here first. 1.7 1. 1. is not bad. Uh, I'll go do Magadan. It's fine. Alright, so, I made the mistake last time that I forgot that these guys will join the Einheits Pact, so that sucks. So, yeah, that really sucks. We'll actually do that first. Cool. You should all be on the line. No one should have any other other type of orders to do anything. Go ahead and train. Uh, we'll deploy some soldiers, and you guys will be fine as well. I'm not going to train them just yet. We are really lacking a lot of stuff here. So I think we'll probably go to war. A little, you know, just a little bit. I want to make sure we have enough stockpile. Cause, I mean, Germany might be making more divisions this entire time. But I think they've already maxed out on what they're probably going to do, or what the AI thinks they need to do. So they don't have a lot of manpower right now, which is good. They've got... a Crap ton of divisions. Three to five, okay. 13 to 26, these guys have up to 39. Uh, division wise, a lot of them, most of them are light infantry, which is actually really nice to see. They got a lot of manpower though. We might have to beat the Finns. I don't think they'll join the war and Caucasus. 7,000 manpower, eight divisions. That's not too bad. Actually, it's not too bad, but I do want to give it just a little bit more time so we can core everything else and just make more divisions to cover our borders because we're just really not ready to go to war yet. So, see you in just a little bit. Alright, everyone, so it's now February 25th, 1973, and we're not looking great in some of these things like anti-tank and APCs and tanks, but... Or even infantry equipment. Oh, that's not good. Actually, you know what? Let's cut down some of the stuff. Because at this point... Oh, it's just because we made a few more divisions. Um, Tank-wise, we have actually nine tanks. We're training a lot of our guys as well. I did throw on logistic companies on our guys just to save a little bit of fuel. Save a little bit of uh, supply. But if you want to about better industrial expertise, please go right ahead. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We have innovative industry, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I just realized we didn't have enough of this. We have plenty of artillery for now, but... Who knows in the future. Um, Gun-wise, go up to there. Support equipment is good. Anti-tank we could use a little bit more because we're going to run out quite a bit. I was surprised we actually ran out of APCs. Of course, it's not looking great. We can lose by five, maybe. And planes are looking really good as well, even though our Air Force is probably going to get really beaten up. Beating the crap out of, really. And, yeah, I've just been doing stuff. Uh, uh, just doing all this stuff pretty much off screen. So, let's get some better tanks. Uh, turret range finders. And then we'll go straight to war. So, <clears throat> It is 73. Actually, come over here. Can we grab that one? No, we cannot. Get some better anti-air. That'd be really good. That'd be really good to get better anti-air. Our GDP in depth not doing too bad, actually. So, it's pretty good. Pretty darn good. Before we, Just before we go to war. Uh, can we throw on any more planes at all? We don't have that, really that many planes. I mean, a little bit more cast. Obviously, obviously, these planes are really sucky, but whatever. I'd rather have them than not have them, but still. All right, stop training. Stop training. You'll be fine. Get ready to go. Get ready, get ready, get ready. We are... Actually, 18 billion is not bad. I mean, I've been making a lot of cities. I'm actually... We're running out of things to build here. All the way down here. Look at all that. All all these are 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Big air bases, big air fields, and we're pretty much good to go. Let's go. And 20, we made 24 more divisions down here next to Iran. And this 10 infrastructure, massive air field. So we'll have a two-front war against the Einheits Pact. Including these guys, too. So uh, the tanks should be able to roll out and do pretty darn well. But obviously, we're going to lose a lot of stuff here. But let's just begin to invade the Reich, my friends. Um, uh, can we actually go to war them immediately? Because I want to finish this front up as fast as possible. We should be able to pretty easily beat them up. Uh, and down here in Iran, we should do pretty okay as well. Actually, we already won against them, so that's pretty good. Um, we already have our spies in here already, doing our good stuff. Um, rest of the clears of war Okay. Nice. Keep going, guys. Actually, I'm going to force you, uh, force you to force the attack because we got to move fast through here. I want to get rid of these guys as fast as possible. Send you guys up here too. There you go. 
That's fine. French has been declared war upon. Uh, Hungary, that's fine. Oh, go to war with these guys too. We don't want them to have any more... Wait. They're not in the war yet. God dang it. Ah, uh, why can't we just go to war with them? That doesn't make any sense. So far, not too bad. Not too bad so far. Uh, we lost a thousand. We've killed a hundred thousand of them already. Which is pretty good. Still waiting for this one. Oh, no, no, no. Keep boosting. Keep boosting. Keep boosting. We definitely don't have enough infantry equipment now. Whoopsie. Oh, well. That was really surprising, actually. Actually, very surprising. If that's the case, I will lower artillery by a little bit more first. And lower this by as well. There we go. Ten more factors should help us out a little bit more. Ah, overrun them. Overrun those pieces of garbage. Oh, and they're attacking us, too. That's not good. But throwing all the logistic companies was actually probably pretty good for us to do. Good. good. And we don't have any ciphers done just yet. Which sucks, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. Come on, let's go to war with Iran. Why can't we go to war with them? Yep, the entire German army's here pretty much now, so that sucks. Um, well, there they go, finally. Oh, come on, you had more than enough time to go to war with them. You, I don't like that. We should have been able to go to war immediately if we really wanted to. Immediately. No questions asked. That makes no sense. If you're in the Ionites pack and we, and we go to war with Germany, you should have died. You literally should have died. But at least we can hold the line here for now. Just hold for now. Hold, hold, hold. They'll someone start attacking us there, which is fine. Um, on this line, it looks like we're still doing relatively okay-ish. Ooh, we lost some convoys. That's not good. And they will probably enable invasions, which is why I want to move through as fast as possible. How are you guys not winning? Seriously, tanks on versus IFEs, you should be able to win easily. You should easily, 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 easily be able to win. I said hold. I said hold. I said hold, and they are just refusing to hold. This tank commander needs to die. If that's the case, um, I might split you up in half. We'll probably get cut off, so do this. Something like that. There you go. Um, cool. Hold for now. Hold, hold, hold. We've lost 100,000. We've killed off half a million of them, which is really actually pretty nice. If you need a retreat, that's totally fine as well. Don't worry about attacking. Don't worry about attacking. Palisburg, very good. Oh, their, I their IVs are looking pretty bad, actually. That's actually pretty good to see. Manpower is actually doing a lot better than I thought it would so far. Of course, we're still very early in this war, but still. How much more manpower does Germany have? I'm sure they got plenty, right? Oh my gosh, they got so much. They got so much. Actually, I'm sorry, Muscovine does not, though, which is good to see. Um, events of the month phase. Start a nuclear war, we could. I'm going to try to prevent that. We could demand German surrender, but we need to live in Kiev, which is good to see. Uh, don't worry about that, just hold. Defend over the river, that's the most important part. Because they will continue to attack like crazy. This is a little unnerving right now. Don't worry about attacking. Hang out, hang out, hang out. Don't worry about attacking, don't worry about attacking. I'm surprised. Oh, no, no, no. They did start attacking us here, so that's interesting to see. You should be able to win here. Any damage we do, they should not be able to replace. Um, excuse me. Just going in. Good. Early auto loaders are nice. Let's grab some more of that as well. And then grab some what? Air Doctrine? Yeah, we're doing that already, so. More soft attack, please. Thank you. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people are dying on this front. That just... Oh, crap. See, this is exactly what I was thinking about. I knew this would happen immediately. Screw this line. Um, you're much better. Just do this. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Get over here. And begin attacking immediately. Go, 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 go. Force the attack. We cannot let them live. Do not let them live. We're still doing okay down here, so it's just fine with us. Probably should get some better radar as well. I'm surprised they're not attacking any harder, though. Hmm. Kind of sad. Don't want to attack with infantry. I'm attacking tanks, so. Win or die. That's all you got. Win or die. Nine tank division should be good enough. Oh, actually, I really cut this down, didn't I? Wow. Yeah, no. you got to go in. Alright, you're going to lose? Oh, don't get circle in, you piece of garbage. However you... Oh my god, they're just death stacking here. Uh, 
I don't like that. We're out of a lot of guns, aren't we? Yeah, we are. That sucks. Good. Three strong divisions there, huh? Can you move? Move, you dinguses. Move, 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 move. Crap, Arctic Rush is getting invaded too. Um, we need to really kill off some of these guys. We really, really, really do. I don't know how they got more manpower though. I guess just they have emergency version of just... Oh, we acquired nuclear weapons, look at that. A thermonuclear war cannot be considered a continuation of politics by other means. It would mean an end of the universal suicide. Crap, they are up here too. Are you kidding me? How are we supposed to be able to deal with that? Go in. Murmansk. Force it. Force them to die. They gotta die now, 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 now. Uniting Rush is easy. This part's difficult. Because if these guys spread it out, that's really bad for us. We should still do okay ish. Cool. And I know there's that music stuff, but you know, it is what it is. I do want to do a general attack, we just don't have the, the things for it. They are slowly trying. They're really just killing themselves off, which is nice, but still. Come on, tanks. Hurry up. You have speed here. you got to move faster than this. You've got to move faster. We, uh, go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what they're thinking. Just go. Because this is, this is looking really bad. Really, really bad. I'm recording everything. Don't get me wrong, but still. Can you, can you go? We lost Arsenal, which sucks. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. They literally have nothing down here. Yeah, we're, we're stretched to the max. This sucks. Uh, strategic bombers with this one. It's fine. Alright, you guys go here. Go, you fat pieces of garbage. They have no strength. They literally have no strength. You should easily be able to win here. I don't care what the conditions are like. This is pathetic. This is absolutely pathetic. I just want to do general attack at this point. Come on, you stupid Reich. Come kill us. I'm glad they're trying to kill us down here because their tanks are going to take a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of attrition. Go. Go. For the love of God, just go ahead and kill them off. Why are you taking so long? I don't give a crap about how many tanks you don't have. How many tanks you lose. Jesus Christ, this is bad. I hate, I hate, I honestly don't like this. <laughs> I mean, you're just not really ready for this, because you don't have enough divisions to cover everything. You don't have the manpower, you don't have enough divisions. You just don't have enough of anything. Come on, my God, you take so long, tanks. At this point, I'm going to do a general attack. Screw it, we're going in. Kill off your own divisions if you have to. We're going in, we're going to finish this. Rex Commissariat must be in as fast as possible. And these guys are coming in too, which sucks. Guys, go in. My good lord. I know it's marshy. I know tanks over here are really bad. I don't care. I legit don't give a crap about it. Boost it up, baby. Boost it up. No stopping here. Moscow will be ours by the end of this. How weak are they? You're going in too. We don't have time to waste. I, I legit don't care. Either you win or lose. Win or die. Because right now they're flooding through at the north, so. Are you going to... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. These pieces of garbage. These tank divisions, this commander's garbage. You're going to get cut off. You're going to get cut off. If you don't move any faster, you're going to get cut off. What the hell are you doing? Go back. Jesus Christ. Hey, we've got Moscow, though. That's nice. Yeah, we're not stopping the attacks. From here on out, it's, it's got to be full, full attacks the entire time. You guys, we're not stopping attacks down here either. We don't we don't have the resources to stop attacking. We really just do not. We have to deal with this. But these guys are just idiots. Absolute idiots. Come on. Larinov. Oh my god. Oh my god, Larinov. You everyone has to attack. Why are you moving lines? Keep going. We've lost not too many. We've killed off two million enemies, which is really nice. But this is, this is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. Just go. Kill them off. Come on. The, 
Hoi4 AI is just god awful. It is just really just god awful. I'm not gonna us off there. Of course the attacker die. Muscovine's gone, thank god. Thank god for that. Anyone that's encircled, you kill them off immediately. And then we're gonna shift pretty much the entire army, in my opinion, up north. We're gonna kill all these guys off. You're not gonna do this. If I have to sacrifice the front, so be it. We're not stopping here either, so. Take Baku, take Baku, take Baku. That's awesome. Can't go plant. Alright, shift up, shift up. All gains we made are going to go bye-bye for now, because we got to move up north, because our tanks are god-awful. Kill them. Where the hell are you going? Seriously. Jesus Christ! I hate Borman. I mean, this is ridiculous. You know, you think if you go into the Second Russian War, the war, the Second Russian, West Russian War here, that, you know, America might do something, you know, someone else might do something to help destroy, you know, the Nazi presence. But, you know, I guess not. We're going to ban in the front here, which is fine for now. And we're going to keep attacking down here. I, I don't care. Go, 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 go. We've lost 400,000, which is quite a bit. That's actually quite a bit of soldiers. Quite a few. Come on, guys. Why do you just want to suck so hard? Like, seriously. I, I don't understand why you guys just want to lose. I know it's mountains, but still. I don't care. Oh, this is really difficult. Insanely difficult. And no one's going to do anything about it. How do they raise the conscription level? That's what I want to know. How do they raise the conscription level at all? Just so much. Just so much. But at least with with Iran gone, finally, we can go ahead and have a second front here. It's going to be awesome. And you're going to go. Oh, they have helicopter boys, huh? Not for long. Not for long. Good. They're enough. You're kind of a failure, I'll be honest. But not as bad as this. Vasily here? Oh, he's god-awful. Come on. Just move. Just move. I gave you all the armor, and you still can't kill them all off. I don't know. For this mod, like the second West Russian War, like I said, I, I I think there should be something else here. There should be some sort of thing that, like, I don't know. I doubt the AI would really do anything, but, like, if it was a manual player, an actual player playing, like, the United States, send Russia, like, equipment. Send in volunteers. You know, something like that, just because that that would only make sense to happen. Uh, but maybe that's being worked on. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Uh, anything up here? Just go in. Please, just go in. Come on. Yeah, the tank commander's god-awful. If it wasn't bad, we wanted to shove our entire infantry army the other direction. Because all of Rikes come right. Muscovine is back now. Of course, because why not? Yeah, no. Cut him off. Kill him off. Cut and kill. All right, at this point, we I, I've got to I got to turn him around. I've got to turn him around. They're advancing too much. My God, I hate, I hate some of the parts. I mean, this is just, this is terrible. You guys got to keep pushing up. Well, you guys, these guys are actually doing really well. But we, we can't lose any more division, more tiles here. And so for some reason, Germany has infinite manpower. Like, I don't understand why they can raise the conscription level and we can't. I think that's really not very fair. Not very good. What, what level are we on? Two, we're probably on 2%, right? Or, uh... Where is the Economy laws, political laws, military laws... No, we're on four-year draft, huh? I wish you could just force it to go up higher. Just force it. Sir, like, seriously. Like, it makes no sense why we're on this level. When we have other things to deal with. Like, this war... If we're, what, fascist? We should easily be able to raise the conscription level. I don't know, we might have lost this. I don't know, I, but there's nothing we can really do here. Germany's just way too strong. Or we should get assistance or something here. Like, I know... I mean, be realistic about it. Like, America would, you know, 
do something here. They wouldn't let just Russia do anything because MCS. I'm sure she'd do something because she got sec uh, elected a second time. So, well, they have minus seventy six percent stability. I saw. Holy crap! Holy cow! How's the economy going? Well, it's going. Are these guys not taking any sort of attrition or anything like that? Come on, man. I mean, that's really bad. I mean, I spent extra time making extra armies, and it's still not enough. How much more manpower do you have? I mean, my god. Jesus Christ. Uh, 73 artillery. Not really anything there too much. I'm, I'm really disappointed in the tanks. I'm actually very, 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 very disappointed in these guys. How are you not taking any, like, losses? Like, Germany, seriously. How are you not taking any more losses? This is so bad. It's just god-awful. Oh my god, kill them off! Kill them off! I swear to god, kill them off! I don't care if I kill these tank divisions off. This is pathetic. This is absolutely 100% pathetic. Kill them off, for the love of god! This general, though, he's doing very nice. I love this general. Best general we got. These are the posers, man. Doing nothing. Um, interception. Is that one? That's good. Well, we took away Baku, which is actually really good, but still. We need to link up so we can actually send this army up north, because we're going to lose Sikta guy in. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. Go right here. Come on. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to say. Like, I'm sorry if I'm being ragey, but this is stupid. Come on, come on, take the goddamn tile, you pieces of garbage. You're going in. I don't care. I really don't care. What's your superiority like? Oh, it's really bad. We don't have anything. We literally ran out of planes. No wonder we're losing so hard. Yes, sir. See. Oh my god. Keep boosting, though. Keep boosting. We could start a nuclear, uh, a nuclear war. It's going to end in Hellfire, but not, that's what Borman deserves. We have lost 600,000. We've killed off 3 million of them. you think they'd do something about that. But Rikes come start Muscov... Not the Muscovine. Oh, Muscovine already capitulated. These guys are about to die. Really good. Come on. Well, at least we knew it was a capital, yep. If we make any more military factories, we could really use them. There we go, we got them. We got them. We got extra equipment, too. Nice. Make more millies. We need more millies. We need more guns. We need more everything. And when you're done with all that stuff, roads. Road it up. Yeah, I know. I would like to see America giving equipment. Maybe even, like, Japan, maybe? Just because they don't like the... Um, they don't like the Germans, obviously. Alright, boys. On the front. Let's go, 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 go. Nice. We've linked up. That's good, good, good. They have 223 divisions so far left. These guys are flooding through here, which is really bad, but whatever. Alright, not bad. Can we get more of this stuff? You know what I'm going to do it anyways. Get more output. That's not too bad. 300 days? That's not bad. They've got to be out of equipment, right? They've got to be. Uh, just like us. Like, we're really... Actually, that's not too bad. When we capitulated Iran and the Caucasus, we actually got more equipment too, which is really good. Oh, God. I built a lot of forts up here too. God dang it. Now they're using it against us. That sucks. It's alright. Oh, Not easy. I really don't like this. I'm going to send this army up north to Finland-ish area. What was Finland's territory at one point. But they're actually very weak in the south-ish. Somewhat. So once we get all this territory back, yeah, we'll, we'll send them up north. Because the tanks, they're pathetic. Like, they're really sad. Oh, actually, we, oh, that's not good. I need you guys to move faster. Come on, come on, come on. Go in, go in here. We need these guys taken out. Um, were we able to do any more intelligence stuff at all? No, we're not. 
Alright, so that's good. So you go here, and then you guys go right here. There you go. That should help us unroot, uproot some more entrenchment, hopefully. Good. We've lost, what, a million? Not yet. 3.6 million German boys are dead. They've almost lost in 200 divisions, which is good to see. Having this extra army down here is really helpful. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, they died. Keep going in, boys. That's looking so bad right now. I've got to turn these guys north for now. I've got to. Alright, go north. Almost 5 million have been killed in exchange for 700,000. Jesus Christ. So much. We're out of ink to take again, which sucks. But whatever. Happy 1974, everyone. Uh, we already did everything pretty much ahead of time, so... Ah, but better artillery. Oh, no, that's way too ahead of time. Darn, that sucks. We're not stopping the attacks. We literally can't afford to stop the attacks. So, fight or die. That's your only way to do it. You know, actually, don't stop. Start, stop attacking for now. Cover the area here first. That sucks. That just sucks. I mean, come on. We need an, we need someone else here to help us out. Like, TNO2 needs to go. I wish TNO2 would come out sooner, but... I'm not, can't really rush the devs right now. Can't really rush the devs too much. You're still going in. Screw it. You're still going in. There's areas in the line that are very weak. Mm. They want to do crap like that? They... Wow. Okay. Anyone else have upgrades at all? Yes. Hey, if you want to go better industrial equipment, please go right ahead. Come on. Oh my god, Black, stop it. Hey, must mean capitulate again. Good. Oh, look at all these guys. They're going to starve and die here. Die, 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 die. Bunch of flipping Nazis. Like less than 170 divisions. 160 maybe max. Oh, they're just dropping like flies. That's so good. Yes, yes, yes. Is anyone going in? Be from the front line. Good. Another division, not bad. There's some there's some moving in here, which is good. We're running out of manpower though, which is not good. Fair enough, go ahead, go ahead, let them rip. We cannot let anything stop here. And for the love of God, do not get encircled. Those guys are nice. Look at this. You're not leaving. You're not leaving. Yeah, this is making my head explode. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not bad. 22 billion? Eh, it's got worse than it was before, but that's alright. Guys, go. Go. Your life literally depends on you going and winning right now. It literally depends on you winning or losing. I don't know what they're thinking. They're not. Oh my god, just go! Just go for the love of god! Jesus Christ! I don't... I hate the AI in Hoi 4 so much. There's no one there. Just go. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry that I'm going crazy, but this is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. The AI is incredibly, incredibly stupid. Like, I know, we all know it's stupid, but Jesus Christ. It shouldn't be this stupid. It really should not be. Just go nigga. Not everybody, you dying dogs, Jesus Christ. Hey, we got to decrease the poverty, though. You know, during the middle of war, a slight decrease in poverty, that's pretty good. Nice. Oh, we got to capitulate Kiev. Or the Ukraines. Ukrainians. Game. Come on, stop lagging so hard. Lebao. I mean, we've lost 800,000 men. Oh, we're getting more manpower back, which is nice. While killing off 6 million of them so far. That's insane. That's a lot. That is a lot. We're doing better here. Petrograd's not looking great. You guys are just incredibly pathetic and just sad. This... I thought this thing to Commander would be so much better than this. Game. Come on. Come on. Scroll over, you ding-dongs. You're just letting them through. You know, I give you the armor. They're fast vehicles, and you still fail. So hard. So hard. Maybe that one. That's good. I mean, what's the point of using tanks if infantry just do the job better? I mean, seriously. <laughs> Should have had transport helicopters. 
Then again, they, they take an insane amount to produce. Good, kill them. Just kill them. Uh, anything else here? Oh, we can demand German surrender. I think we might want to do that from here on out. So, and to save my sanity, I think we need to do that one. Demand it. Because they've taken 6 million casualties. Or we just capitulate them again. Um, of course, we have 136 divisions. We started off with like that many same divisions, but they had like 600 divisions. Well, maybe not 600. Probably more like 400 max, maybe 350, maybe? Maybe? Because, you know, Hungary, Romania, which we didn't see, or Poland and Slovakia, but the Treaty of Riga. Our staggering advance into the lands of the Reich have stunned the globe, the Germans especially. The Germans have approached a government with an offer. To avoid nuclear war, the Germans are prepared to accept our Eastern European claims on the condition that Germany proper would be left untouched by the treaty. This was insanely hard. Like, every time you, I do this, it's, it's, it's not easy. It's just not easy, as you can tell by my rage and rants. Holy crap, I'm about ready to punch a child, maybe? I don't know, but it's still not as bad as playing Albert Speer. Oh my god. But, hey, I did it. We, we got the Treaty of Riga. Also, if you're still watching, thank you. And if the devs are still watching, thank you for making them up. I really do appreciate it. Like, even though I get raging and stuff like that, but... If the devs of the second West Russian War watching, keep it up. I know this this is only going to get better from here on out. So no matter what I say, keep it, keep up the good work. You're doing a great job. There's room for improvement, but keep doing it. But hey, not too bad. Look at that. Oh, and go back to war with them? Or uh, well, they're gone now. But hey, we did it, my friends. The Free Republic is sort of here, so, sort of. So um, overall, could be could be a lot worse. And honestly, like if we were to actually, we should have kept pushing in. We should get pushing in. 54,000? We have a bigger army than them, but then again, like, these guys have a few divisions, up to 8 to 10. I mean, I, it's hard to tell how many people we've actually killed off, but still. But hey, if you enjoyed the video and the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.